Well, it happened again. You know, the first time I'm going to say, shame on me. You know, you fool me once, shame on me. You fool me once, you can't get fooled again. But unfortunately, I did actually get fooled a second time. How many of you remember from one of my previous videos this clip? I'm getting, I'm starting to, oh! I was gonna say, I'm starting to get nervous with my character. Now, there is absolutely no denying that in that clip, that was my fault. You could see the detonate dead red lines. My lack of experience, lack of knowledge is the reason I died. I had the reaction time necessary in order to be able to dodge this. And unfortunately, I crossed one of the rites of passage as a Path of Exile hardcore player and died to detonate dead. But as we progress with these clips, it might become less and less obvious if this is the player's fault or just a really stupid mechanic. Here's another clip on which my best character yet, we had got tier 16 maps down, 4700 HP, all resistances capped, pretty good defenses, 100% spell suppression. We've been working on keeping them alive. Watch this clip of the next death here. No! What? No, you got me. Wait, what? Wait, what killed me? Well, if you watch it back, what actually ended up killing me was, once again, everyone's favorite ability, detonate dead. Do you see it? Directly under where the meteor tower landed, you can see a red column here. And if you play it, you can see it for just that long in order for me to react and it one shot my entire life pool. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, I get it, DM made a video explaining his hardcore deaths are not his fault. No, it, they're my fault for not basically making sure I'm nowhere near a corpse at any time in the entire time I'm playing the game. I unironically in getting that advice as a way to play the game. People are telling me that in order to get good, you either explode the corpses yourself or you literally never stop moving at all and never stand near a corpse. This might be the way to play the game, but I'd argue it's not a great fundamental design of the game. In fact, the devs would agree. So there are a couple of things there I will say in particular. One is that, just, just to be completely clear about this, the way Dead Night Dead is in PoE 1 isn't good. And Mark has a specific plan. I think he's even going to change it in PoE 1 before too long. However, there is two fundamental points in both of my deaths. You could see the red line for at least a small period of time. The first one, absolutely, I had the reaction time. The second time, I would argue, was a little bit more like, okay, well... I mean, you could technically see it. I don't know how many frames I had really to respond, half second, even if I had a full second, I think it would have been enough. I literally just didn't see it. However, it gets, in my opinion, less debatable when we look at some other people's deaths. Let's all look at our favorite HC SSF player and live streamers' most recent death. And I can just pick my entire ad list to this thing and I can just, I can guarantee it. Like you can pretty much guarantee it. What? Now I'm watching that, there's two things that are perfectly clear. One of which is, I didn't see any red line. And if there was a red line in which he was supposed to avoid, it was in the middle of the same lines that were covered by the loot. So he couldn't see it anyway. However, what I hear happened is he got detonate dead exploded off screen by another minion in which he couldn't see. So he got off screen by a mechanic which the devs themselves think is probably a problem. Number two is that it one shot his entire HP pool. And my understanding, again, I'm still learning the game. That's part of why I'm dying is I'm not good enough yet. But from my understanding of the game is that it wouldn't matter how defensive he was. You can still literally get completely one shot like the devs themselves said in the same clip I showed, if you continue that conversation, they say can do like a million damage plus, which is just not okay. Their words, not mine. Uh, it, you, you, you're just not going to survive, which puts you in the awkward situation of playing hardcore and only ever really being super worried about one thing, which is a red beam laser in a screen that is very often covered by colors everywhere. In this clip, he has 4,500 HP when he gets one shot. 
in my clip, I have 4,000 HP and actually goes up to about 4,100 before I get one shot. So as a newer player sort of attempting to learn the hardcore, it puts me in a little bit of the situation of, what did I learn last time? Don't stand in the red beams. This time it's, hey, the red beams, you might not see them due to all kinds of shit on the screen and your reaction time might be too slow. So you need to make sure you're never next to a corpse. That's how the goalpost is getting moved, which is just kind of a dumb way to play hardcore. However, I am excited to learn that the devs are actually in agreement on this point and that they are going to be moving the way Detonate Dead works in Path of Exile 1, as well as not bringing this mechanic fully in the same function to Path of Exile 2. What I've very often found is when I'm dying and like slowly watching my HP go do, 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 do and, and get knocked down, there's a learning experience. My evasion, oh, maybe my evasion's high, you know, and I'm dodging, but then when I get hit, I get really hit hard and I almost get one shot. Or maybe I, you know, had corrupting blood that's on me and I need to become immune to the corrupting blood. I love the defensive puzzle part of hardcore. I'm actually sort of falling in love with the hardcore solo self found part of the game where you find your own items, you figure out how to stop yourself from dying from different things. But the only way to stop myself from effectively dying to this is just constantly look out for a red laser beam. It's mostly a get good situation if we're being honest. This is something everyone has to experience. There are plenty of other people on hardcore clearing Ubers. This is obviously a me problem, but it is encouraging to hear that this mechanic in particular, which is an unfun mechanic of one shots, won't necessarily be in the game that long, which brings me back to actually Diablo 4 in a way, where I thought about what people were complaining about and didn't like very much in that game. One of which was off-screen one-shots by crossbows would be ending people's hardcore experience, which is very similar actually to Quinn's hardcore experience of being off-screen dead in a dead one-shot. However, I have been one-shot before and I have not been tilted from being one shot before, which brings me back to one point. One shots themselves are okay when properly telegraphed, which is actually one of the points the devs made during this conversation. Let me show you. Um, you can't tell which of those is gonna deal more damage. So we need to make sure that uh, dead and they did, and I, I've, I've spoken to other designers about this and there are the, the tasks have been made to change this. <laughs> um, there is a clear, difference in telegraphing or at least danger like you can see this thing is going to do a lot of damage and this thing is going to do a small amount of damage before that damage is dealt whereas right now both look identical so if you take like alera's dd for example or like malagero's um you've just got the exact same telegraphing on every corpse and the exact same timing on every corpse and yet one of those corpses might deal a hundred times the damage of another and you just don't know mark roberts here put it uh, extremely aptly, which is that it's the not knowing that is frustrating. I have been one shot in mini games many times, uh, everything from Elden Ring to the Lilith boss fight to Path of Exile. And the only time that I felt myself be overwhelmingly annoyed was Detonate Dead in, in Path of Exile. So that's just kind of my take on what is the most frustrating part of Path of Exile for me so far, but Luckily, it seems like I'm not the only one.